Hey, here's Joe again, and welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. Uh, where we want to go for our next ship. I mean, we have one that we could continue to salvage. Apparently not. We save it. Why does, did it vanish? It does vanish when we reach the third uh, threshold. Okay, good to know. We have like different ship grades to choose from again. Uh, obviously, the higher the hazard per level, the more it pays. But like this also pays already really fine and hazard level like explosion fire stuff. Why not? Uh, I think we want to go with this light cargo mackerel or do we... Uh, this is just worth way more because there's a lot of electrical systems on the ships. Ah, we don't have a bio lab ship uh, to choose this time, so uh, maybe it will have less stuff. What's that 9 and 10 percent on the cock wheel there? And what does it get transformed into for this one? 8 percent, whatever. Whatever. Uh, let's just take the one that's the highest output. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Let's look at it. First of all, it has a weird thing going on with this metal things on the side. Titanium structures that we can just rip off. These are just nice free titanium structures to cut off. Uh, why not? Let's start with that. Don't know why. Why do you even exist? It's so easy to cut you off. Here. Yeah. You just point you over there and off you go. First part's done. Valuable object processed. Credit yeah, yeah. We should be able to get our upgrades in this episode, which is good. Last episode we didn't, I mean, we got to play around with the tethers, which are then not used. Oh, wait, there's pennies in here sometimes. Ah, interesting. So they, this could have looked completely different. We can rip those pennies off if we want to. It's just that it's not worth it. We can just take the old thing not rip it apart and point it over there. I mean, I could have tethered, tethered them in, but okay. Down, please. Sometimes you have to press for a very long time for it to react. We want to cut these off. Why? Cut. Okay, this is. You have to go very close. Okay. Good. And then go above the next one. Point it to the middle. And just push it. Come on. Go in. You too. Go in. Can get a lot of stuff done just out here. Each and every one of these is 75k. They're worth a lot immediately paying off for the entire th entirety of fuel and everything that we have to get. Good. And grapple you down towards that way. 
Don't you dare bumping into stuff. Okay. Uh, did one of them not go in? That one? Did you not go into the barge, you? You did go in. And you also got it. Okay. It's sometimes a bit weird. Why doesn't it work like... I think the intended behavior? I have no idea. Whatever. You go over there. You go down there. Bam. Like more bam, please. More bam, please. Thank you. What are you doing? You go over there. Down. Stop. And go over there. Okay, the engine plate. Go in, man. Thank you. Okay, engine plate is free. Get sand over there. Don't you dare dying. I think it can't die. They can't be broken by shoving them around. Okay, this way. Okay. I want to start cutting a bit inside. Stop. Warning. Your oxygen reserves are dropping below statistically profitable levels. Freaking hell. Okay. Uh, and that's why we move before her. <laughs> before they're telling me to move. Yeah. Wanna start by cutting the next run? Okay. Uh, for me, this is just such a relaxing game. Nothing big going on. Everything fine. Just relaxing. I don't like the time limit stuff. Warning. Oxygen reserves are critical. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. To Oxygen, fuel, gold. Why would you even want like demolition charges? Just not worth it? Okay. I don't like that the ship is always turned with the back towards it. Okay, first of all, I want to cut the back plate. Because that gives me access to the innards of the ship where the fuel cells should be sitting. So that's what we're going to start with. Upstairs one. No. You. So. In, so now we should be able to pull this off. We'll also see if there are few tanks inside the ship. When we pull this off. tanks yes there were a few tanks just trying to pull it outwards thank you the few tanks are out no electricity huh interesting Q. 
rescue tank done. Did I do hazard level 2? Out of accident? Maybe. This is all processor stuff? Okay. This is weird. Okay. Good. I want to pull you there. Good. In the meantime, we can start cutting stuff here. me come towards there no oh, oh fucking hell yeah. controller movement sometimes here. Come on. Lights. Not that they are worth it, but here we go. So there... Good. Could we have opened this door? Hmm. Whatever. Rip this off. Put you there. Rip this off. Put you there. Rip this off. Nice poster. Stop. Rip this off. Put you there. Good. Um, doesn't seem like there's electrical systems aboard this ship, which is nice. There's so processor panel, that's good. Are you a processor panel? Yes, you are. We had bad luck with uh, one of them being mixed every time now. So, grapple you. Bleh. That way. Oxygen. Great. We're losing out on our possible time. 14k. We might get to the first point. It's hazard, hazard level 3. It was right there. Like, this is the same as the hazard level 2 ship. Okay, let's try ripping more innards out of the ship now. Uh, it had like a total worth of like 2 million, so we're doing roughly 500k now, which is not really enough. We need to make more plus. I will rank up though, allowing us to get upgrades, which also allows us to play more difficult ships. Breaking, just go where you're supposed to, thank you. Okay. Get 
that freaking door out and get it processed as soon as I know which way I'm turned around to. Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay. A lot of barge objects. Stop that. Stop behaving weirdly. Just come out of there. Stop behaving weirdly. I know you can turn around if you want to. I'd love controls on this to turn around thing I'm tethering. Okay. Big triple seat, which is the biggest one we got so far. Bam. Third go one reached. 30 minutes. So 30 seconds. I'm stupid. Okay, get something small like the light out of there. Can get another light out if we. Okay. Bam! We'll see. Bottle destroyed. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I didn't think that would destroy the bottle. Uh, that's $100. Okay. It's still $1.4 million left on this. We are novice now. Okay. And my shift. And do the upgrades. Why is my cam so blue? Should turn it more, should turn my light more red. Good morning, ship breaker. Lynx mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. Uh -huh. With access to hazard level 4, Lynx Salvage welcomes you into the ranks of potential high earners. The attraction of reactors from ships is one of the most valuable duties our employees can perform. We expect the utmost care when engaging with the variety reactor setups you will encounter. Retrieval of an intact reactor is your highest priority during every salvage operation. It is advised to clear a direct path to the barge for the safest extraction. Reactors will become unstable once removed from their protective housing and cause, can cause severe damage to surrounding objects. Failure to extract a reactor safely is also a failure to comply with expected performance standards. Please ensure you talk to your supervisor if you consider your ability to safely extract a reactor is a risk factor. New message received. New ship access, the Javelin Tanker. The Javelin from the Helix Heavy Industries is a highly modular multi-purpose ship type primarily used for industrial purposes. The tanker model is a mobile fuel platform. Beware of extensive fire hazards on board. An entry-level version of our tanker was easy to create by simply stripping out expensive creature comforts, cup holders, padded seats, safety features, and so on. Uh -huh. And we get the Mackerel Heavy Cargo, a robust model to transport heavy industrial goods or hazardous materials. Grapple strength can be upgraded to improve handling of its heavy structural elements. On behalf of my former colleague Granda, we apologize for misstating the fuel efficiency of this model. In fact, it is positively adequate for the transport needs of many companies. We did have a plus and we got a red seal for certification rank 10. I have five, you idiot. I think it's time for you to learn about the mother load of any ship. Reactors. Most dangerous part of ship breaking, but you got this. Continue when you're ready, Cutter. Do you now scrap the ship that I haven't completely done yet and get me a reactor tutorial? I wouldn't like that. Please don't. Okay. Stickers. Yeah, the Red Sea for certification rank 3. We haven't. Uh, 10. We haven't have. Whatever. And it stole away the cursor. Okay. We can upgrade a bit. We can either upgrade 
the range of the laser cutter and the range of the grapple or we can do this. This visor mode connects to a remote neural network to perform Gestalt analysis and determine what is being viewed, provides relevant information from the Lynx component catalog. I don't know what this is. Scan mode objects. And the other scan mode, I have no idea. EM waves to, to determine not just the density, but material state and even chemical makeup of objects to interpret ship subsystems. That's the one that I want. Not the range bullshit going on down here. Durability drain. We did have durability so far. We can unlock object analysis. That is how we unlock the posters. Okay. Can't upgrade the thrusters. Can only upgrade. The range of cutting. The cutting. No, the range of grapple. And the range of the stinger version of the of the cutter we also have the other version okay this is just for the stinger version we just uh, upgraded uh, the range so far we can continue salvage or start the training okay let's continue salvaging this one this will take a while Sticker unlocked right here. We have that. Whatever. <clears throat> okay. Start taking this apart. I think I want to start by uh, opening up this one here. Cut that. Since when can I cu cut processor or titanium panels? Whatever. You and you. And on the other side, you. And you. Good. Go there. Like, there, please. Okay. Perfect. Stay about the upper one. Stop. You go over there. Oh, that's the same one. Why have you stopped? There's no reason to ever lose inertia in freaking space. Oh, missed the hole that I wanted to go into. There it is. Stop. You go over there. Go pick up. You go over there. Go. Stop. You come. No. Uh, down to cancer tests. There. Good. Anything else near? Yeah, there's another seat. Go. Stop. First the light. That thing would have crushed the light otherwise. Go. 
good. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Okay. Titanium. Okay, let's cut. This is already helpful to have this have more reach. This is so incredibly helpful. Like, I didn't have any problems with uh, grapple reach before, but I have had problems with the reach of this. Stop. Stop. Good. Stop. That way, that way would have been perfect, and you touch that. That works fine. Stop it. Stop moving now. Thank you. Hey, stop moving. That wasn't a good idea. That took me too much time now. That way, please. That way, please. Okay, both of them are moving towards the target. Perfect. That was a computer terminal. Okay, there was a computer terminal in here. Good. There's also an outer one of those. Yep. Go. Okay. Stop. Uh, I can't pull you. Okay, then we're opening the door. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Yeah, don't damage the equipment. Whatever. Mm. This is such a shit game. This will be such a terrible video when it comes out. Video series. But it's... It's good. By the way, cancer tether tethers. Nobody wants tethers tethering stuff to itself. Oxygen and fuel. Oxygen level okay, did everything get sucked in over there? Or was it there? Okay, good. Sure. Oh. I think there's nothing to cut left here. Except the sh two ship main parts that are still stuck to each other. Okay, uh, grapple. There's a lot of lights here still. I thank you for the X button working, controller. There. Stop. Stop. There. Stop. Go. There. Okay, got all that going. More lights back here. No, good. Okay, you can come over here. Take that apart. Oh, well. Oh god, a power junction box? Of course. Okay, that was the neighbor picking up a package. Good.
There was no power going on in this entire thing. Oh, I forgot which way the barge was. Go there. That was a nice chunk of money. Stop. Sent the light down there. There was no power on this ship, so the power junction box was basically just free. Fuck you, game. Stop it! Just stop it all, man! My god. It cost me like 10 seconds. 15. What my character tried to do is push away the barge, but I don't know what really happened. Over here, go. Um, B is not up, Grant. Okay, you. Fuck you, game! No! Carter, you got five minutes left in this shift. Knock out that work order before they turn the lights out on you. We rest. Okay. Picking out the in ship, ship innards here. Go. Stop. Salvage deposit accepted. Okay, with that. Oh. Okay, got that. I try to pull before the fact. This one is destroyed, I think. Yeah, fuck you, game. Uh. Okay, this all this doesn't pay off. There's nothing here that pays off. Did we get the door panel? Nope. Uh, door panel doesn't pay off, by the way. Okay, do two things at the same time. Uh, yeah, what do we go for now? Air dog. Yep, fuck you. Hello, oh, no fuel. Wait. Not fuel. Oxygen. Man fuel. Okay, I played games with way better six axis of freedom controls than this. And this is actually starting to annoy me that it's that bad. Okay, oxygen. Go over here. Okay, uh, we need to start taking the outer parts, uh, side apart. Um, two and a half minutes doesn't mean we have not much time left. Uh, we're gonna go for the side that has the air dock. Because the air dock itself gives like 80k. And the panels give exactly the same on both sides, so it doesn't really matter which side we start on.
Stop it. Stop moving weirdly. Did we get both? Yeah. Looks like it. Stop. So I think... Oh, we didn't get both. Stop it. Sometimes he just rolls around crazily without me putting in any commands that facilitate weird movement. Okay. That goes to barge. Fuck you. I know. Over there. You get over there. Okay. You get over there. But there. Okay. There. Come on, move. 30 seconds. Great. Oh, I'm stuck. No. Might not be able to get this in time. Let's just shepherd it this way as much as possible. Good. We're done. Almost. Good. Got it. <sighs> Almost up to the repair kit and the extra links tokens. <sighs> Not enough though. We did make a plus today. Next shift will definitely make a minus. But we want the Lynx tokens to upgrade. Okay. Plus, yeah. Okay. Void terminal. Nothing going on here. Bed. Kitchen. Workstage. Yeah, we don't. We can't afford anything. Uh, let's just go. Let's just go. <sighs> Continue salvage. Yes, let's go. I feel like we're always starting with the same fuel amount, which is bullshit. Why we start with not full fuel? I just want to reach the third point there, and then we're gonna bend the sh uh, the shift. I think. Okay. Come here. Perfect. Good. Get the airlock. Why did I say airlock? Whatever. And those grips don't count. There's basically no money in them. Stop. I'm very interested to see next episode how the next ship type looks like. Definitely gonna go for the... Fuck you. For that... Fuel tanker. But also I'm looking forward to the uh, tutorial on... Yeah, works. Did I get the lamp out? Yeah, okay. This should work. 
Now going for the same stuff over the other side. Look how turned around the ship already is. Yeah. Grab a man. Stop. Stop. That's where the electricity was coming from. Oh, we have enough. Yeah, the power cell is, is 100k. Good. Continue. Good. Next one. All of these have a light on it. Oh, look at the reach now. This looks like this feels so great to have that reach. Like sometimes I think mouse and keyboard would be more fine for this game. With the, with the aiming. But I think six axes of freedom feels way more intuitive. In uh, like in this way. Okay. You go that way, please. Like that way. And not so much down, please. More like up there. Okay. Good. Stop. Go. Okay, if there was a fuse here in here, why did all the monitors not do uh, electric arcing? Like only the fuse that I did, like that was barely worth mentioning like the the elevated hazard here for this ship. There is none, basically. Good. I don't need to be grappled to it to uh, use the, the gun, I just realized for the very first time. Like, it makes it easier to aim at the small things, but I can just freaking go anywhere like here, point that way, press X. Go down and press X and X and X. We, that's not a limited resource, so that works really good. Okay. We have this part with the four lights. Your oxygen reserves are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. I think it's worth it going for oxygen once. Uh, look how much progress we've made this time. Like there's there's no need to re-enter. Uh, do I even wanna pay for oxygen now and fuel? We need to make at least 13k to be worth it. Ah, let's do it. I see. I think this isn't worth it. There's like three lights there. That's uh, 4.5k, and then uh, the rest of the ship is just stuff that you have to scrap part. It's only two lights now, because I did do one more than I remembered. That one didn't give me money. 
And that one didn't give me money. Thank you, game. Um. Okay. How do we even start going about this? Begin. Okay. Stop. Stop. Catcher. Mode switch. Stop. That's not how you turn. This is how you turn. Stop. Start by doing this. And then the lower part too. Good. Stop. This. Yeah. And then this. And this. And stop. Also that one down there. And there's another one down there. What? Cut level 3? Are you kidding me? What are you? Oh no, those things. Okay. Stop. I might cut it in this angle. That should have unlocked this part. Uh, oh god. This whole... Hey! Can you please? Okay, I can't move anything here. Did you cut properly or not? Are you still connected because of bullshit reasons? Oh. It's not bullshit reasons, it's because I didn't cut it. Uh, one thing here. Thank you. Thank you for cutting bullshit somewhere else. Don't you dare go into that thing, go to the furnace. Okay. You... Go into the furnace, please. Okay, no need to worry about you. And you big thing. Oh, big thing. Uh, stop it. You whole big thing. Why don't you freaking go to the furnace? And then we can take part, uh, care of the other thing. While you're going. Okay. Um. Uh, which part is more important? The processor part, like this frame and the outer part? Cutter, there's five minutes remaining in this shift. Get in while we're getting good. You freaking go there. All of you. We're losing a lot of money now. But we'll be ending the shift uh, on time today. For time. Because we still have a reactor tutorial to go. Oh. Like there's the whole glass pane in, inside of it. Okay. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Yeah, there was the glass panel. Yeah. Right choice, there was more furnace stuff inside than uh, processor stuff. Good choice. The tethers are really worth it. Okay, let's look at how many tethers we buy when we buy tethers. Like 9k, does that just refill? It just refills, okay. Never refill those. <clears throat> yeah, we got like a few bottles and food things left. Not that they're worth it. Okay, we destroyed like a bit, but perfect. This was a good day. We did a plus and shift. Because now we're doing a minus. Because we're getting a tutorial day out of this. Hello, Shipbreaker 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. 
So we're making a complete minus on everything now. Because we freaking have to do a tutorial today. Continue to salvage that? Definitely not. Let's start trading. <laughs> 